Hello friends. Today we are going to install Eagle Pro AI Smart Router. The model is R15 and we'll be installing this router using an app uh, which is called as Eagle Pro app. So first thing is on your mobile you have to go to the Play Store and download this app which is called as Eagle Pro app. Now I have already downloaded this app so you just have to open that app. Yes, so once you open that app, this is the screen in which you will get. You will have to click on install a new device. So in this screen, you will have to scan the QR code which is there underneath the router. So uh, you just have to pick the router and uh, click on scan. Once it is scanned, you will get two options. One is set up a new network and second is extend by network. Now, If it is a new router, uh, you'll have to set up uh, you'll have to click on set up a new network so which is uh, I'm clicking on can click on next next and next wait for the power LED to become steady white and then you can click on next So it will try to sync with the router. So here you will have to scan and connect to the network. Turn on the Wi-Fi. It is connected to the router. The, this is the Wi-Fi name and this is the password. The password is given at the bottom side of the router. So once you get that you can just connect to the network and then you can click on next. So the router will automatically detect the internet connection setup. Yes. So, so here you can see the by default Wi-Fi name and the password. Here you can change the network name and the password whichever you want, and then you can click on next. This is the device password, uh, which is also called as login password. Every uh, router has a unique number which is uh, your login password so in this screen you can change that password here and then you can click on next so you can also assign a name for the r15 you can click on next again so this is a summary and you just have to wherein you can see the uh, device name the device password wi-fi name and the wi-fi password so you just have to click on save So once it is saved, it will automatically connect to the D-Link account and it will save the changes. At this moment, you just have to wait for some time because the router will get reboot.
while the settings are getting saved you will see that the lights on the R15 will change to white once the router is online that's it the router is configured now you just have to click on finish yes so once the device is online you will be able to see it over here so this is the screen which you will get once you configure the r15 and the r15 is online so uh, here on the top if you see there is the internet which is your internet provider then the r15 on the left side you can see the extenders currently the extenders are not connected so you will not be able to see it now there is one client which is connected which is this phone wirelessly to the router so it is showing over there all right so these are the options which you will get in the app one is the wi-fi ai assistant internet speed if you just go in the wi-fi you will be able to see the the settings which are there on the router uh, which is the main wi-fi is your that's the name for the wi-fi and this is the password and the guest wi-fi is wherein if you want to create a guest network for the router you can click on enable and you can uh, enable it you can also share the information uh, containing uh, uh, the Wi-Fi name and the password using WhatsApp or any other social media. So AI Assistant is wherein uh, if you enable it, uh, by default it is enabled. So uh, you will be getting weekly bandwidth report and weekly Wi-Fi environment report. This is by default. Internet speed is the option wherein you can check the internet speed of the router. Now there are other options as well, uh, also called as features of the router. The parental control, cli client priority, voice control and health mode. Now in parental control you can uh, uh, start uh, some features uh, like, uh, you know, uh, wherein you can give a profile name uh, for uh, the, that particular uh, 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 you know you can add a profile for your uh, uh, parental control i'll just name this as d-link so here here you can select the device which you want to apply that parental control and you can click on done so these are the parental control settings which we have for that particular profile which is created as d-link so in parental control if you see we have schedule and we have website filter Schedule wherein you, if you want to give timing, uh, time settings, uh, where ex when exactly you want to block the internet and where you want to allow the internet access. Website filter is if you want to, uh, you know, block access to a particular websites. If you want to enable that, you can enable it over here. So here you can change the name of it, if, uh, you know, if you want to edit the client devices. And if you want to delete the profile, you can delete it over here. Client priority is nothing but just to uh, give the priority or set a priority for connected clients wirelessly. Voice control is if you want to, uh, uh, you know, uh, give commands using Amazon Alexa or a Google Assistant. You can do it over here. And in the health mode, you can turn off the internet access and turn it on wherever you want. 
okay and also you can set a bedtime uh, for the internet access automatically you can uh, pause the internet and resume the internet whichever timing you like so this is about the uh, configuration for a r15 uh, router using an eagle pro app thank you